Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. You probably like getting things done. I'm just assuming, right? Unless you just like not getting anything done, in which case, good luck with that. Most of us on the planet like doing things, and sometimes we use our computers to do things. Would you like to increase your productivity? Whatever you may happen to need to do, you could use something like Windows 7 to get it done. Now, I know you're thinking, well, that's not a mobile device. Well, no, not really, but you can still use a computer to get things done. Remember back in the day, Scooter Computer and Mr. Chips? Google it if you don't remember what I'm talking about. Computers could do anything so long as you had the right software. And there happens to be a lot of the right software that is available for you to download uh, if you have Windows. I mean, there's software available for just about any platform, but this particular video is covering uh, the article that we've uh, published at the link in the video's description there. Five ways to bo boost productivity in Windows 7. Uh, and one of our suggestions is to use virtual sticky notes. Okay, so uh, you, you might remember when my dad was visiting and he was showing he had these yellow stickies all over his uh, electronic devices. I use yellow stickies too. I mean, the real yellow stickies, but they're just as useful on a desktop or on a screen. You can move them around, you can change the text. This can inc increase your productivity if you see the task at hand, you know you need to get it done, there it is as a reminder. Don't just bury it somewhere. Put it in your face, in your face and you could come closer to getting things done. Uh, the snipping tool, not um, something that, that is really snippy at you, really, uh, but it's, it's something that uh, is built in to Windows, or if you don't have the extension installed, uh, you may want to install it, specifically with the, uh, the tablet PC or the, uh, the touch extensions. Uh, you can effectively uh, crop out an area of your screen uh, and then uh, save it as an image uh, somewhere. Uh, as, as, as a note, if you will, with another one of those, you know, note managers that we've talked about in the past. I mean, you may use a, a local utility to uh, certainly snip things out to save to. Uh, but these tools that are right there at your disposal really shouldn't be ignored. I mean, if you're just using your PC for gaming, you're like getting 5% of its value out of the computer. I mean, wh why? Why? It's kind of, I mean, sure, it's nice to kill people virtually, but it's almost like overkill. I mean, the computer can do so much for you if you use the software that's at your disposal. Uh, using context menus, this is something that I think uh, was the most difficult thing to explain. The right click, uh, you know, once you recognize that you can open up a variety of menus on, on Windows, and I know a lot of, you know, people who understand computers already know about the right click, not that there's a wrong click, but opening up a context menu on just about any object, whether we're talking about a, a file or a, an object in the Explorer, uh, or we're talking about inside a document or a program, you can unleash new features that you thought you wanted, you didn't even realize you had, right there, simply by right clicking or pulling open the context menu. And this is probably my number one uh, productivity boosting tip in relation for really any operating system. But if, if you're still in Windows, understand keyboard shortcuts are your friends. I mean, that can save you so much time when you're doing regular routines. I mean, we all might recognize cut, copy, and paste, but there are some people who will still go up to the menu and select edit and then cut when they could easily do control X. It's so much faster and so much more efficient. Do you know how much time you could be saving in your life if you use these productivity tips? A lot of time that you could then spend to go and play games on your PC that just a, a few hours ago you were using to get work done. If you have any other productivity tips in relation to Windows, feel free to leave a comment either here or in the article linked in the description. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and plus one it before I forget. Uh, and it looks like a few other people have too. And when you do that, it gets shared to your Google Plus circles. Uh, and, and that's good for everybody who's following you.